to absorb you. Hence, love your employability, not your employer. Let us move on to the slide number three. Here are the seven steps to achieve success in your life. People often ask me how I achieved my success in most of my training and teaching programs. Usually, the high achievers respond with passion, hard work, smart work, etc. But I respond my audiences differently with my time-tested seven-step success process, which is, first step is, I always discover my strengths, which are mostly innate. I'm really concerned about my weaknesses. At the same time, I safeguard from my weaknesses. Additionally, I avoid repeating the mistakes I have made in my life. Number two, I don't compare with others because I am born with unique gifts and traits which no other person has in this world. As a result, I don't envy others. Most conflicts in this world arise due to envy. When there is no envy, your mind is peaceful and you concentrate on your progress. Step number three is, I always concentrate on my strengths and produce work based on it. Hence, I enjoy doing what I do and it gives me a lot of confidence and immense satisfaction. Step number four is, after producing my work, I look for opportunities that match with my work. I am fortunate to be blessed with an imaginative mind and I constantly explore opportunities within my mind. Above all, I have an open mind. If I don't find opportunities, I still explore various options freshly and finally I find some and shortlist a few of them. Step number five, I align my producer work with the identified opportunities. I never look at the door that is closed. I always look at the door that is open. I strongly believe in Vincent Churchill's quote. The pessimist sees difficulty in every opportunity. The optimist sees the opportunity in every difficulty. Now coming to the step six is, I have a database with a huge network of international connections who I regularly communicate over email and phone, sometimes through Skype also. I help them and seek their help if required. Finally, the seventh step is, whenever I endure to align my created work with identified opportunities, I find lots of distractions. Most times, things don't work as my plan. Hence, I analyze the reasons for distractions and address them endlessly with a calm and reflective mind. Again, I try to align my created work with the available opportunities. I fail repeatedly, but I learn lessons and places. Because of this persistence, I align my work with the available opportunities and achieve success finally. In this process, I emphasize on time and timing, which pave the way for my ultimate success. So let us move on to the slide number four.